in some of so in this session we are going to discuss about different control m components so let's begin with how the users are going to interact with control m so here on the left side you can see we have list of uh, different users and now they are going to interact with control m using client which is called control m em client so control m em client is a thick client by a thick uh, thick client what i mean is that control m em client has to be installed as an application on either on the laptop or the server which can be either jump host server using which you are going to connect to your control m environment now control m also provides a web based interface which is light version of control m em client you can say so since it is a light version of control m em client it doesn't provide all the functionalities but it is good if you just want to access or if you just want to monitor jobs and this is this can be accessed on a web based interface so if you want to access control m self service on mobile you can do that as well because on your mobile you will be able to open the browser and then you will be able to access control m self service so other than this control m also have applications for mobile so you can use that as well in order to monitor your control m jobs now uh, as a user you can have control m em client installed on your laptop your individual laptop or probably in some organization you can have a single jump host server their control m em will be installed and all of the users are going to log into that jump host server and then going to use that control m em client in order to interact with control m okay so all the users are always going to be using control m em client whenever they want to make any kind of request to control m now the second component which is most important is control m enterprise manager so this is control m em so control m em takes care of communication between control m em client and communication between control m server so whenever you are going to define any job or you want to manage any job you are going to as a user you are going to make a request using control m em client and then it is the responsibility of control m em client to communicate or pass that request to control m server now control m server you can say is the heart of the processing or this is the heart of managing or you can say this is more like a engine which takes care of managing or ensuring that all the jobs which is supposed to be running on some specific time has been ordered to run and this is the one which takes care of managing the execution status of all of the jobs now this control m server needs to communicate with some kind of agent and that agent is actually control m agents so you are going to have control m agents installed on all the machines in which you have control m applications now this control m server needs to interact with control m agents so control m agents are going to be installed on application servers so these are the servers where applications are running on now this, that application can be any web based application that can be any application which is having scripts okay so it can be any application i have given example of file collection servers informatica app linux scripts or a server which is having web based application running on server which is having terrata running on or probably some other complex data warehouse applications running on or probably hadoop running on and then we can have campaign system we can have other you know servers where lots of batch scripts are running on so on all of these servers we will need control m agents now in some cases we don't need control m agents when we are going to use control m cm or which is called control m control modules but we will discuss that later for now what you need to understand is that control m server is the one which is going to be interacting with control m agent and control m agent is the one which is actually going to execute your job on that server so for example when you want to run a linux script on this machine this is a control m agent's responsibility to start that script and manage the status of that script and also send the status of that script to control m server and then control m server is going to pass that information to control m em and then control m em is going to pass that information back to the user so that's how the con complete control m communication happens now i'm going to take an example now let now let's take an example what happens when any user tries to monitor jobs and also let's say if user is giving a request of 
rerunning the job okay so let's say this user wants to rerun one of the job which is available here on this uh, system okay and that is one of the linux script which this user wants to rerun now this user is going to give the command using control m enterprise manager client and then that request is going to be going to control m enterprise manager and then control m enterprise manager is going to be communicating to control m server and which will further going to talk to this agent which is available on this machine and then this agent is going to rerun that job and then it is going to give the status back to control m server and then that's going to go back to control m em and then control m client will be able to see that status and thus the user will be able to know what is happening with the script whether it has been re-executed or not and what is the current status of that so hope this made very clear about what other control m components are available and how these components interact with each other again all of these components use separate ports to interact with each other and we are going to see that in our upcoming videos